Hey guys, I'm just uh, taking a quick look here at the new Pioneer Record Box 4.0, or otherwise known as Record Box DJ. I'm going to try to be real quick. I don't want to be real thorough or anything. I just want to kind of go over very quickly what's different about this versus uh, Serato or Tractor for that matter. So right into the mix here, we're going to look at the fact of the effects. Uh, we look at the effects. These are all the Pioneer mixer effects that you're used to. And of course, you know, you can go like have three effects or you can have one and I'll have, you know, some kind of control over that effect to really fine tune it. And then we look over at the color effects. Now color effects, if you know what a color effect is, that are the color effects on the mixer and you have the, the knob right there above each channel to control color effects. So what they've done by default, it's a filter, your four filters on your mixer. And when you switch over and you edit and you can select that, what do you want as your color effect knob? So on a dub, dub echo, for instance, turn that on. And, that, and there it works for you. Now, I'm going to try on my mic channel because I am talking to you through this uh, DDJS X2 to see it doesn't affect my voice at all. I don't see it having on an amp, so I wasn't expecting it to because it's software driven, it's not a hardware effect, it's just a hardware effect that's being simulated. Pop over to our sampler, you know you have four banks of eight, to put your one shots in, your loops, you've got quantization, you can sync your samples. And now, of course, too, you have a sequencer over here. So up to four bars, you can record up to eight different patterns and save them into the banks, I'm assuming, to be able to trigger off if you have the right controller. I don't think you can trigger them off from the DDJ SX2. I think you'd still have to use the mouse. But I think the RZ and the SZ, sorry, RZ and RX, because record box, record box, X and a Z version will have the ability to do that, of course. We have our mixer section, of course. That's pretty straightforward. The record. Um, of course, for all you guys out there that like uh, Serato, we have Serato mode, as I would call it. You know, we have four decks. We have four decks vertical. Let's turn that background noise down there for a bit. I don't have a song going because, you know, I like to monetize my stuff and YouTube, you know how they can be. So, um, you know, hit space bar, you're in browse mode, just like you would normally see. I'm going to put this back into two deck horizontal. Um, you have quantization button, slip mode, your loops. When you get into, you got your, your hot cues, pad effects. So those are trans effects pitch crush you can go in here and you see the edit button you can edit each one of these things to do exactly what you want to do and what percentages and blah 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 so that's very cool that you can really do some lot of customization uh, you go in, so and you have well, that's the other cool part too is you have you know two banks of that uh, go into slicer mode and of course you know you can change length change the roll uh, we have beat jump I don't know what buttons actually control beat jump. I don't think that the SX2 is capable of it because I just don't see it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so maybe I'll figure that out. But at this point here, there doesn't seem to be, you know, enough buttons to do that because I've got a hot cue button, a rule. There's probably a way. I'll let you know if I ever find one out. Um, what else can I tell you quickly? Uh, you know, obviously the little gear icon, like they didn't steal that from somebody. Hint, hint, that was Tractor. And, um, you know, you can go through that on your own, check it out. It's all pretty straightforward about uh, what does what. You know, keyboard commands, you can go advanced mode. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else to really say about this stuff at this point here because, um, like I said, just going over it real quickly. It's a 30-day trial. 
I suggest you grab it, check it out for yourself and uh, have any questions or concerns about this stuff, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe because I'm always top of the latest and greatest gear. Talk to you guys later and have a great one.